everybody, Mark Howell with Ground of Truths LLC out of Donovan, Missouri here. So today we're doing part two of a two-part series on burn planning. In part one, we very briefly discussed an overview of elements, what's required in a plan, what a good plan looks like. And now we're going to go over the map portion. of it. So a map is one of the required elements. I've seen some that are very, uh, well, yeah, not so great. So we'll talk about what goes into a good burn plan map and how to generate that. So this site, sartopo.com, I'm not being paid for by them for anything. This is just something I found on my own and wanted to share with folks. It is free. There's no, uh, you can sign up if you want to share and save, save maps and share them via email or URL, et cetera. We'll show you that. I have an account. I signed in free on Ground of Truths account. Because uh, you can get in Google, Facebook, email, sign up for an account, good to go. So I already kind of zoomed in on this area. I don't want to, you know, disturb this person's privacy, et cetera, et cetera. We want to be respectful of that. So um, I'm just going to go in and I'll say that, you know, go over here, your base layers, global imagery. Um, that's kind of the nice uh, aerial photo view. Now, here's the caution about that is that if you're looking at this map uh, where I'm tracing right now with the hand, that's all been logged. Yet the... Aerial imagery map still shows that as being very heavily timbered, which is not true at all anymore. So as you're doing this, make sure that your map, if it's not accurately reflective of what you're looking at, uh, that you note that somewhere that you, you know, in your burn plan, et cetera, in your briefing, like, hey, guys, just take note that this area here has actually been logged. They'll see it because you'll be standing right here at this corner of so I also include the contours because of the fact that this is a relatively uh, flat piece of ground. I did 10 foot contours. So each line to line is actually 10 feet of elevation gain or loss. And then the map builder overlay, which kind of brings out the street here, the road, and then structures, as you see, they're all kind of highlighted yellow, kind of pops them out, makes them easier to see. Structures are a concern, right? Because if we have a spot fire or a slop over, we need to know where these other issues and potential out ahead of out ahead of us problems could be arising. So go over here to add. First thing we're going to do is a polygon. Why? Because we need to know where we're going to be burning, right? So we'll do RX fire area. Normally we would put like the burn unit name, etc. But um, I'm just for right now, I'm going to say RX fire area. We're going to go orange for that. Uh, you want to kind of avoid reds, greens, and blues, like strict red, reds, greens, and blues, because people with color blindness are going to have a hard time seeing that. So you want to kind of avoid, or you want to kind of pick off colors that are similar, uh, but not exactly a strict red, green, or blue. So I'm just going to go around here. This is, I'm just hand digitizing this. We're going to tie in with the road, and you can kind of put the vertices up along the road here. And just real quick, Capture in this, tie it back in, and there you go. There's our polygon. Okay, so I'm up. It's prompting me to save the map. So I'm gonna call this RX Fire Demo. I'm gonna make this a private map because you know. And then I'm gonna click save. And it's gonna save, and it'll be up here in the Euro Data section going forward. It's gonna zoom back out, and I'm gonna zoom it back in. Okay. So what else do we want to know besides where we're going to burn? We might want to know where our control lines are at. So since I was lucky enough to have heavy equipment handy when we were prepping this unit, I went ahead and just said, yeah, guys, go ahead and punch me a line here. And so I come over here, line weight two, but I'm going to go over here to complete a dozer line as a style and just kind of sketch in my pretty little dozer line like Bob Ross remember that guy it's pretty little dozer goes clink 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 it's me a nice pretty control line boom there it is now notice that it's auto labeling this for you as you go just by whatever you're you're naming your your features which is awesome it's perfect that's exactly what you want so we know we're going to hang up the dozer line here right here right uh what else can we put in oh we have power lines power lines are a hazard within this unit so we'll go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to make them purple. That way they kind of stand out to the eyeball without being, um, yeah, I'll do that. That looks like a power line kind of with the little poles along, along the middle. 
So it makes it pop out and stand out. It's easy to see. Yep, here's power lines. Watch out for those. And so we, okay, apparently we lose that. Try again. All right. Oh, okay, so it did save. Okay. okay. So we want to know where our firing crew is going to be at, right? So let's go ahead and do a line. Call this the east firing crew. And we'll do these guys in yellow. So they're going to start at the southeast corner. Proceed. Oops, got the wrong style here this style to show the direction right want to show direction of travel that they're going to go and they're done create one more for the west firing crew or sorry the south firing crew south firing crew so why not call it the west firing crew well pretty simply because um you could honestly they're heading westerly from the origin point but Generally, you name them for the flank that they are working on. So if they're on the east side of, if you're considering, you know, the northeast, southwest, cardinal directions, there you go. So here we've got south firing crew. And uh, we could also add in some drop points. Let's see here. Where are marker? And drop, uh, let's drop a, let's make this one light blue. So it really kind of stands out here. Actually, let's not do light blue. Let's do, let's just do black. Drop point alpha. Can do the same thing. Here we'll have Bravo. And so on around the line. Okay, just keep on ourselves. Uh, and so, why would we put these these drop points? What is what does that all mean? So, a drop point is essentially it's like a checkpoint. It's like saying, "Yep, here we are. We're turning the corner," and this allows the burn boss and firing crews to coordinate their movements and actions between themselves. Hey, here's this, we're here. Just so you know, I'm passing, passing this point. And I'm probably, for the size of this unit, I'm probably getting a little carried away with the drop points and where they're being put. But basically you put them interior of the line and actually print out giant letter like we're talking like 70 point uh and you'd staple it to a tree or a fence or a feature interior in the unit so that people can look and they go oh okay there's point a hey burn boss i'm passing point a right now and they know that and they're good okay so we've got all our stuff here now we're going to make the map we go over here to print print yep okay we're going to do a landscape orientation we're going to grab this little red dot and we're going to pull it right towards the middle of our burn unit and what we're going to do here is we're going to do geospatial PDF. And the reason for that is you can both print it. You can view it on Adobe Acrobat or any other PDF viewer you got. But you can also plug this into a Venza and use this for actual mapping on your phone or your tablet or other device that you have. So you could actually just have a point and you'd have this map and you'd be able to see where exactly you are on here. And, and that's just by a Venza. So uh, because this isn't a paid account, I can only do eight and a half by 11. Not too worried about the scale because of the smallness of this particular unit. This is a pretty small uh, six acres. So really not too concerned about that. We do want the grid lines. We'll do degrees, minutes, WGS 84 datum, uh, save to account, keep for seven days, new URL, boom, and generate PDF. And now, it's thinking, it's thinking. Boom. Here's our PDF map. Has all of our has all of our lines where we're working, hazards identified, drop points identified, has your scale, north arrow, all of your required map elements. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Any questions or anything, please feel free, drop them in the comments. 
please, if you, if you find this useful, like subscribe, because I'll tell you that really helps me get this content. If you find it useful, help me get it out to other folks, spread the word, share, you know, click that share button and, and send it to your friends, family, other practitioners of fire and get the word out and let's, uh, let's help, uh, let's help promote prescribed fire. Thanks and have a great day.